Okay, welcome to Stampscaping 101. I should have done this video, it looks like, um, for uh, Halloween, but this is black light stamping. Uh, I have a fluorescent black light here that I've mounted on a st couple stacks of uh, wood mounted stamps. You know, had to rig something up to hold that. But let's try something. I have the glow in the dark um, stickers ready to go. And while this stamping and look is definitely not for everyone, maybe not for many, um, I don't know, I, I tend to look at this as, you know, or think of it as, uh, you know, what, uh, this, would be, this would have been a really great project for little kids, okay? Although my kid's like in high school now, and if, I don't know, if a bunch of his friends were stamping, I, I think they'd get a kick out of, uh, you know, uh, I don't know, doing something under the black light like this, too. I don't know, there's not a lot of black light stuff going on these days. You know, when I was a kid, uh, I was always fascinated going into those types of stores that had all those kind of velvet black light style of uh, posters and, you know, kind of looking at them in amazement and, I don't know, all that type of fun, you know. But... Um, I don't know, maybe, you know, like this type of thing like this. Um, I, I, you know, I think any kid enjoys rubber stamping, you know, you got grandkids or whatever. You know, they all enjoy creating things, okay? But this is like something that could potentially like put it over the top. Um, in terms of, a, you know, an activity. Like, let's say you do something, you teach them kind of the basics of stamping. Or that you can just start them off with this and have something really uh, kind of like a killer uh, application type of thing going on. Okay, I'm just adding in some kind of a medium tone blue. I'm not going to take too much time on this um, bottom portion right here, this kind of foundation right here, because I just don't think I need to, you know, if the idea is kind of looking at this piece um, under a black light. But you see where I've kind of retained some of those streaks in there. It's a little bit harder to see, and I hope this isn't hurting people's eyes watching this, but... I'm just applying it with um, some re-inker fluid here, okay, and putting it on this little cotton round, and I'm getting this background going. This is going to be a really fast um, scene, I, I think, um, using a lot of uh, different media and techniques, but um, I'll try to make a full visual statement here and try to really... Um, uh, make use of uh, I, the lighting, I guess. So, okay, so if you don't know what a black light is, it's, it's this, I don't know the properties and why it's doing this, but it's those purplish looking lights, okay? You often see them being brought out these days for like Halloween types of applications and whatnot. Um, I don't I guess you, yeah, I mean, you can buy them online year-round, but it used to be one of those things that you'd see being sold, um, you know, mainly around Christmas time for, um, you know, illuminating things and giving it, giving those things that kind of ominous look to it. But, I mean, or you can, you know, like I was referencing earlier, you know, like a, like in the 70s, I don't know, maybe 80s a little bit, too. Um, you see those, those posters that were um, kind of geared around, you know, a, a black light application. And, uh, you know, seeing those things really illuminated under a black light, it was really uh, kind of fascinating. Um, these days, I don't know, I mean, it would be kind of cool to do some sort of a night forest type of thing, too. And do, uh, I don't know, it has some uh, fluorescent types of, uh, um, I don't know, applications and uh, uh, features um, within a piece. Or you can do something like that might be kind of fascinating is uh, if you're doing like a seaside type of thing. You know, sometimes you see this um, phosphorescent glow, you know, by a. Uh, you know, like that plankton or something like that. How you know how you would apply it to a, a piece like this is, um, you know, with some maybe some bleed-proof white, 
splatter painting, or you can use some glow in the dark. Oh, I forgot to get my glow in the dark um, ink. I'll get that here shortly. Um, but just kind of, I'm getting um, a background going here, going for that um, range of tones. Believe it or not, I'm using black right now, but I don't think a lot of it's been applied because um, the uh, the paper is really saturated, so it's probably not... Okay, I need some more black ink. I'm going to pause this video and find my black ink re-inker. Okay, here's my re black re-inker. I looked everywhere and I cannot find my black, I mean, my, uh, my glow-in-the-dark ink, which I'm pretty sure I got at one time. I think I have a video on it. But it just didn't hold much of a charge, but under the under this black light, it should be just fine, but I don't know. Ooh, that is really, really dark. Okay, let's see. Let's see if I can get a pretty smooth application of this. Talk about contrast. I just did a video on util the utilization of contrast and, and how to... Uh, kind of bring certain features out in an illuminated type of uh, situation. Boy, that is really dark, though. Okay. But we are going, you know, reasonably dark here. Okay. I was using um, the wet side now. What I'll do is I'll just kind of fold this over like this, and then I'll utilize the drier version of this to kind of get this um, you know, a little bit more, a uh, little bit more smoothly applied. Okay, I'm just going to use the, uh, you know, my my test stamp, my go-to uh, kind of. Uh, I don't know. It's my uh, guinea pig stamp, which is the Lakeside Cove Large. Um, to do this. I don't know, it's just, it's just a stamp that's very bold, and it can cover up, you know, just about whatever you want to do. And, uh, I don't know, it's just, it's, it's good to have a go-to stamp, you know, for testing um, new uh, media out, and uh, if you haven't stamped for a while, you know, you just have something that you... Uh, need to, I don't know, get in your hands and, you know, to get, you know, your fingers inky and everything like that, you know, just to, I don't know, kind of make a kinesthetic kind of a connection with uh, your media, and that's a good way to kind of get back into the flow of things, you know, you got busy over the holidays or whatever, you know, you just haven't stamped for a while, you know, we'll have you know, operations and, you know, procedures done, you know, and sometimes, you know, when you get back, it's, you know, it's kind of getting your, it's getting your right brain, the side of your brain kind of, uh, you know, you know, the gears moving again. And sometimes it's not so much kind of sitting around thinking about it, can be, because that's more of a, you know, that's a kind of a logical kind of a left brain type of notion, but, you know, sometimes it's just getting back into the creativity aspect. It's about kind of engaging your right brain, and that's, you know, it's about kind of kinesthetics and touch and everything like that. You know, we have a kind of emotional reactions. Okay, this is some bleed-proof white. Let's see if you can see this being applied on here. Let's see if it... Yeah, okay, now the white I thought would be reflective of that um, black light. It looks dark on there. That is really fascinating. The white, I thought, would stand out light, you know, and really, you know, this is white right here. So why is the, the bleed proof white applying dark? On here, something to the properties of the bleed proof. What I, <laughs> I'm looking, at, making sure I didn't just splatter black, did I? But it's reflecting the purple of the, 
the light. Ah, that's really fascinating. That is interesting to me. Oh, maybe because maybe because this white isn't reflective. I don't know. It's kind of interesting. Okay, let's see. Huh. Yeah. Look at that. Fascinating. I don't know. That is a shock to me. Okay, let me see something here. This is a um, you know, white acrylic paint pen. That is a dark dot. Oh my gosh. That is really interesting. Hmm. Okay, well, we have a different texture on there, I guess. Okay, so I am stamping on a matte. <laughs> it's the matte uh, uh, cardstock here. So I did that because I can use my Versafine Claire stamp on here. I'll show you some of my previously stamped um, pieces too, um, with the glow-in-the-dark stickers on dark papers. Those were kind of interesting how that reacted with the black light. Okay, so we just have our Lakeside Cove, all right, and we'll stamp it, you know, kind of right in the middle of the scene or the the paper. Okay, and I, I'm doing it right in the middle of that kind of that glowing. Um, line which will end up being a horizon look at my fingernails oh my god okay the versifying Claire wow god that really stands out against that background now I haven't really flipped on the lights except for when I was looking at that looking for my uh, glow-in-the-dark ink which maybe I don't even need now well, I don't know, unless I want, you know, some reflections down there. But, uh, I don't know, I, I, I'm guessing that glow-in-the-dark ink. Unless I'm just thinking I bought some. You ever have that happen to you where you get to a point where it's like, uh, the difference between thinking about doing something and actually doing that, it's not... A big difference there. <laughs> you can't remember <laughs> if you thought you did something or if you actually did it. It's like the different, you know, subconscious and conscious. I always tell people that. Okay. There we go. So this is a slimline card, of course, you know, so I'm just overlapping that, you know. I stamped it a little bit higher. This one I stamped a little bit lower. I don't know. It wasn't, it's not giving it a huge amount of variation, but you could, you know, change the variation by quite a bit. Um, in terms of height, you snap it lower, it looks a little bit closer, snap it higher, it seems a little bit uh, more distant, okay? All right, so let's add some um, foreground in here, like so, okay? So, you know, there's going to be a lot more kind of dynamic applications of the of this Versafine Claire. You can get a, quite a few impressions out of that one inking, you know, which is how dark that is. Okay, so there's some foreground there, okay. And as I do this, I'm kind of imagining, uh, you know, Stamping with some kids and how they, you know, what they think about, you know, doing that type of thing. There's a moon right here. Look how glowing that, glowy that moon is. Okay. I just do not understand that, uh, that white in there, that splatter painted white, how that is not kind of working, uh, you know, to create, you know, a glowing you know, white light like this paper. I don't know that it's the same color as the paper. It's, it's got to be the properties of it. I, that's the only thing I can think of. I could put this moon right in the middle, but I think it's creating too much um, kind of visual tension in there. So let's go off center. It'd be probably ideal to go um, 
you know, three quarter rule of thirds, but uh, I, don't know, I can't do that. Okay, so anyways, now I, you can't, I don't know if you can get a moon anymore, because uh, after I posted my last video, you know, some people looked as well as, you know, I looked as well, and I just could not find any um, glow-in-the-dark moons anymore. You know, stickers like these ones. That was an old sticker from uh, um, California Pacific Designs from 1989, so quite a ways back when, and I got it at uh, um, Imaginarium. You know, that store that you used to see in malls. I don't know if it was in malls all over the country, or if it was just local malls. I, I'd pretty much see one in all of the, the local malls um, whenever I was in there. But, okay, so doing little stickers with kids is always a fun thing, but can you imagine if they're kind of glowing, you know, as well, what uh, a fun type of uh, thing that would be. Um, so there's some little five-pointed stars. I'm not doing any of the big stars. Oh, you certainly could, but okay. So <laughs> doing some of these um, little stickers like this in here, rounded ones. This pack came with you know different sizes of round ones. Do something like this and. Uh, let me see, let me charge this up with some regular light, too, and let's see if it uh, looks uh, different. Okay, so that is charged up there. Let me see, let me, let me actually turn off this black light and see what this looks like just with the... Uh... Yeah, look at that. Oh my god, that's so fun. I mean, you can, you know, even this is, if this project was um, being done, um, you know, without the black light. I mean, something like this, you know, the kids, you know, they can take that to, I'm just closing my blinds here so we can see this a little bit darker, but, I, you know, this is something that they can put next to their bed, too, you know, and, you know, Type stamp, you know, it doesn't have to be a scene, but um, just some sort of stamp project with stickers, you know, and then they can, you know, it might be something where they look forward to going to bed that night or something like that because they want to charge it up in their little, you know, nightstand or something like that and then flip off the light, you know, they want to get the lights out, you know, to uh, see their pieces glow like that. You might already have stickers like on their ceiling or something like that, but you know, kind of making a, their own little project like that would be really fun. Okay, so anyways, that is what that looks like, and let me show you what um, a couple of my previously stamped pieces that I did on both um, uh, glossy dark cardstock and star drain lapis lazuli look like okay let's see if we can see this right here okay so this is the lapis lazuli one under a black light like that okay and here you have that you know what it looks like uh i don't know i guess a normal light or something like that light from uh you know window but there that is right there it's kind of interesting huh that uh transition in there that color Okay, and now this one surprised me. Okay, this is the, um, look at this. This one I stamped, like I said, Cove in white light, but watch this right here, okay? So, yeah, I don't know. I'm just surprised that white doesn't glow a little bit more. But then, that's what it looks like right there. You know, it's like black glossy, right? It's dark blue glossy, but there's those lights like that, and... Look at that, that white splatter painted white in there. It's having a tough time focusing right here in this such dim light. Um, those things see like that, it's just, it doesn't even show like that, or hardly, but look at that. It's like a, I don't know, 
two different worlds in terms of the, the lighting on it, so... Yeah, so that barely shows up down there. I don't know, maybe if I could find that glow-in-the-dark light, it'd be interesting. Or ink. I don't know, it, it, it's just in liquid format. If I can get it onto a stamp, um, that might be interesting. So, anyway, some glow-in-the-dark fun here. Certainly easy to do. I guess you don't need to splatter paint on, on this one, though. Although this one right here, I, maybe that maybe that's just under the black light. Here, let me see what this looks like here. You know, see if those white stars come out. Yeah, I, yeah, see the white stars. I guess it's not a lost cause. It's just kind of useless under the black light. Look at that, where it turns black. See there? <laughs> I'm talking about the splatter painted white. It's like white, you know, like right around in here. And then dark. Huh. Anyways, interesting. Fun stuff. Fun project if you have black light. These little packs of uh, stickers, you know, you can buy a pack of stickers and you can make a couple cards with them and then, you know, if there's a kid, they can have take the stickers home with them or whatever and put them on their ceiling if, you know, it's okay with their parents or walls or, you know, do extra little projects like that. They can have, like, that kind of a, you know, room of theirs, um, you know, it's kind of full of, I don't know, wonder and uh, kind of a, what, what's the word I'm looking for, kind of fantasy, you know, um, and that would be really fun. So, all right, anyways, another idea, a little experiment there, fun stuff to do. It kind of brings out the kid in me too, taking me back to, uh, you know, the days of uh, glow-in-the-dark types of uh, um, media and, uh, I don't know, kind of visuals and whatnot, especially under the black light like that. So hopefully I can find that black, you know, that glow-in-the-dark uh, ink of mine, unless I tossed it just because it didn't work, you know, barely worked at all, just in terms of the glowing aspect of it, um, in a whole of charging a light. But under a black light, it should be fine, I would guess, if it works at all, so... Um, I don't know, I'll try to find that for a future video. Okay, thanks again for watching.